Hello YouTube, this is Chet you Betcha. I just recently solo queued to Masters and I had a pretty good time, but I want to turn it into a nice little YouTube video and instead of just only showing you those like good games like I have in my previous videos, you know, I wanted to show you guys kind of a, a more educational style video, like this is why I did this and this is why I failed to do this, you know, so I'm going to be doing some voiceover work on my highest highlights and my lowest lowlights during my journey to Masters. I hope you like what you see. Okay, in this game, I actually get teammates, thankfully. And uh, my jump master says, all right, boys, we're going to containment. Sorry, don't know why I broke out that accent. We're going to containment. So I say, sir, yes, sir. And I'm looking for a spot to land. And then I look up. They're not even <laughs> they're not even landing there. They're landing at this spot called High Low. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you call this place that my teammates landed at. I call it High Low because there's a high spot and a low spot. Let me know if you got all your nicknames for it. So we're going to put this in the don'ts section. Do not split up from the teammates because sometimes they change their mind, sometimes they see a squad and they get scared and they land somewhere else. Or in this case, you might misinterpret where they're actually trying to land, which is what happened. I just, I thought they were going to tame it and they were not. Okay, now for probably the biggest advice in this entire video, uh, shoot everybody at least once because if your teammates get the kills, like my, uh, what is that, my, my seer just killed that guy without me doing any damage, I only get like half KP for that. So I'm losing out on a lot of potential RP uh, because I didn't help him with that guy. So what I do is I try to shoot everybody at least once. Uh, you can see that I did the majority of damage to this Bangalore and Horizon here, but kind of like pretend that I didn't shoot this Bangalore at all. This is how you got to approach the fights. Look at how I just kind of, I just tease in that little 14 bullet spray. That counts as KP. That 14 bullet little tease counts just as much as you one magging somebody for 225. It's the same amount of RP. Please try to shoot everybody at least once. Part of solo queuing ranked is seeing a lot of different team compositions. You see mine is Seer, Caustic, and then I'm a Gibby main, but you know, whatever, whoever you play, that's cool. But you gotta work off what your teammates are playing. See how I have a Seer and a Caustic? What we need is the Seer to scan a building and have nobody in it, and then the Caustic to trap it up. And that is exactly what these beautiful, wonderful randoms do. The Seer straight up says, yeah, there's nobody in here, bro. And then the Caustic says, okay, we're in there. Let's trap it up. And then you see me just fighting for my life, trying to do as much damage as possible to make it possible. And uh, I'm pretty good at my role, and these guys are great at their role. And guess what? We win this game because Caustic is the goat at camping buildings. Seer is the goat at scanning, and I'm good at shooting people, right? And uh, I'm probably going to fast forward to the end of the game. That's literally all we had to do to win. Caustic, a building in the final circle and stay together. I cannot stress this enough. All we did this entire game, aside from that very first knock that this year got, is we stayed together. The three of us just did everything together. If they pushed, I was with them. If we camped, I was with them. That is probably the second most important tip in this, is fight with your team and run with your team. If you're splitting up, then you're just both gonna get 3v1'd or 3v2'd. Just get, just take your 3v3s, and if, you know, maybe your teammates aren't the smartest or not the best or they run the wrong way, go down swinging with them. Give them a shot. These randoms will surprise you. Some of them are just as good as you or better. They really will help you in the team fights. Plus, they give the enemy somebody to shoot at. Now, with this great spot we have, I can take pot shots at anybody I want with almost no repercussions because these enemies they're forced to fight each other with this great positioning uh called by my randoms not by me by the way they called this spot with this great positioning the enemies only can fight in my building or this high ground ridge that they're all fighting each other on and guess what since they're all fighting each other i get to just shoot at anybody i want without thinking sometimes uh if the terrain was a little different shooting at everybody you see isn't the smartest call because then people might focus you and you might get 6v3 but in this case, my positioning, uh, again, shout out my teammates, just let me do whatever I want. And it was pretty much an autopilot win. Um, and I'm not trying to sound cocky like that. I just mean the enemies killed each other. So <laughs> all I had to do was like lightly pepper everybody and make sure they kill each other smoothly. And this is my damage at the end of the game. Okay, and like I just said in the last little clip, 
the different team comps are so cool to me, and I love still looking at ranked because in this current season, uh, 14, the meta is so beautiful. You have every SMG, every AR, and a lot of legends are good. Like, look at this. I know where all three enemies are because I'm playing with two scan legends. So I get to just kind of peek in, and I know exactly where the enemy is. I don't have to make any foolish peeks. I can just aim at them through the wall and only peek exactly where I need to and take as little damage as possible. And it's because I got double scan teammates. So we won that little skirmish and then my Bloodhound scans a new team on us and I'm able to say, oh, well that Bangalore is not gonna catch me off guard. And I see it, I can tell the horizon is lifting in her queue through the wall. I know exactly where to put my cursor. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, beat a dead horse here. Wall hacks are wall hacks, right? It's pretty sick. And that's probably the last thing I'm gonna comment on it for this game. But try to work with your different, your random like, compositions. Try to kind of get a feel for how those comps are supposed to work and then play like that. Now remember what I said about working together with your teammates. See how they're pinging outside of zone and we're not standing in a safe area, right? They're saying, hey, there's guys here. And I'm saying, you know what? I'm ready to fight with you or die with you because you got to trust them a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, obviously the Mirage <laughs> is the one on the beacon, you know, and I figured that I, I think about it for a second I'm like wait a minute <laughs> So we team fire him and The three of us, you know, we stick together We take this 3v2 instead of just worrying about zone and running away the boys stick together So we are able to take this 3v2 really easily because there's only two of them and then we worry about rotating the zone if I was solo and like Teammates, we're worried about the wrong thing. We need to get to zone. Then they might have lost that 2v2, and then I'm in zone soloing the rest of the lobby. You see the difference? I helped them. Everything went smoothly. And now we can worry about zone. I just gave out the advice in my recent video, how to drop more 4Ks and 20s. And if you haven't seen that, the advice is uh, watch the kill feed for enemy shields broken X character. Because... Without being able to communicate with your teammates, watch me beam this Newcastle. Look, my teammates know Newcastle's broken, and I know Wraith is broken. They don't have to say anything. It's just there. It's public information I can see in the kill feed, right? And I know we can all move up now. There's only going to be one guy protecting the push, so all three of us can advance into a more aggressive posture. And my teammates go for the flank, and I just, I beamed, I think that was Newcastle. I beamed him. And then I distract this guy in a 1v1. I don't even need to kill him. I just need to distract him. And then we just kind of close in on them. Because it's a 3v2 at that point. We're, we aggressively pushed up because we knew they were broken. And then it's a 3v2. We just close in on them. Easy. And those games that you just watched, coupled with um, the other video where streamer accuses me of cheating, that Drachnus guy. Uh, shout out Drachnus. Um, that's all I needed. That got me into Diamond. <laughs> those are the only games I played. Uh, and that got me into Diamond. And, uh, yeah, now for some diamond tips. Super important diamond tip. Be really good at the wingman, and then just land on squads of three and do this to them. Okay, I was just kidding. I wanted to flex that I did that to a squad of three. Uh, L bozos for all three of those losers. Now time for another don't. Do not trust your teammates to know how to bubble fight. Or more importantly, to know exactly what you're thinking. If you're not communicating with them, you know, you don't have a mic like I don't. Don't expect them to know exactly what to do. Try to work off them instead of predicting what they're going to do and hope for the best. Because in this situation right here, look, I got rolled. I was one shot trying to heal and bubble. And uh, I was pinging, hey, there's guys on me. And my teammate, he used me as bait. This uh, seer here, he like... Use me as bait. I was not safe. He probably thought I was going to just try to run back or something, but I was trying to fight. And he let me go down because of it. Now, from his point of view, I look like an idiot because I could have just run away and healed and he had the perfect angle on the guy, right? From my point of view, I think he's an idiot because he used me as bait. It, uh, you just got to respect the randoms, which I, you know, rarely do, but you got to understand that they're not going to know exactly what you're thinking the whole time. And try not to let that rage get to you if you have anger issues like me. Just try to see things from their point of view sometimes. Very, very important tip incoming. Uh, do gatekeep your enemies. Look at where my Vantage is sitting. She's at this nice little choke point. And there's enemies behind her. So the enemies are between an entrenched Vantage and the Storm. They have to either 
take storm damage, or push a guy with cover while they have none. And the whole time they're, you know, deciding to ape my teammate, me and my seer are enfilading them from their right. And, uh, bruh, they have no options. It's either die to storm, die to the entrenched guy, or die to the enfilading guys. And these two chose to die to the enfilade trench guys and the crypto that I'm about to fast forward to. He decided to sit in storm and be weak. If you look at the minimap real quick, you see that we're in the north half of the final circle, right? I think that we might be the only team in the north half. So my goal is to keep all the other enemy teams in that southern little bubble there. So I sit here in the trench, which seems to be the only way that they could get in to the northern half, right? And as long as I can keep every enemy fighting each other and not able to freely push through this pass here that I'm guarding, then they're all going to be killing each other and I can get at least second place like that, right? Uh, however, there is one more team in the north half of the circle here and my teammate calls them out, thankfully. So that plan, my plan would have been really smart if this team wasn't here. So of course I got to take my anger out on them, kill all three of them, right? And uh, man, if we had a caustic or a Watson or a Rampart, dude, amped walls and that little uh, pass would have been sick. But instead we just kill all three of these guys and then move on. And I'm playing nice and passively here because I already downed two. It's a 3v1. I'm not really too worried that their last guy might kill us. So I just, you know. I play nice and slow, let my teammates pull up. Now, right back to gatekeeping operations. By the time I'm full health, there's only two squads left. Uh, all we really need to do is control the very center point, but since I beam this Bloodhound, I'm not too worried about a thing, you know? Um, we kinda, my teammates are positioning themselves on the left half, my left, I guess technically the north half, but whatever, my left. And I gotta follow them. I'm not trying to get 3v1. I stay with the boys. And I think I dropped them some shield batteries because I noticed they were slow healing and I felt bad, so I dropped them some. Very important for working together with your team. Make sure that they have ammo and healing, okay? I beamed a rat behind the tree. That was actually the third team. So it was really just a 3v3v1 3v3 this whole time. Ash just got beamed. Bloodhound got broken. I'm not really worried about a thing. I'm looking at my chat, thinking about what to say to my chat, because I am already I already know I'm going to win this game. I didn't even see the Seer die. I must have been looking at chat when that happened. I don't even know what happened. Um, aggressive bubble push on that guy. And I already know the Ash is weak. I wasn't worried about her, because I just hit her for like 150 earlier. And it just clean up. This is optional. Leaving your teammates nice, encouraging messages, especially early game. It might make them feel better. They might be more likely to drop you the, their last battery if you're hurt, you know. Good communication with the teammates goes a long way. Here's a unique bit of advice. Uh, your, my teammates here are both talking. They're both in game chat. My horizon is kind of like a, I guess you call it like an IGL. Here's some advice. Listen to the IGL, bro. My horizon is calling out like a lot of pretty smart things. So for the rest of this game, I'm probably going to not even do commentary. I'm just going to let you just listen to my horizon and then see what I do accordingly. I'll hear that drone. Is this silent? Stay close to me to this Gibby. Stay Ooh. close to bubble me. Huh? Yeah, they're about to push right here. Yeah, I know. I want to bubble fight them. I got to yeah. Hey, y'all want me to portal when he does? Right there in front. Gibby, Gibby. Downed him. Hey, it's another team. It's another team, I think. I don't know. Come back down. Come back. We got one down. We got one down. Hey, so we can wipe this real quick. It might be another team, I don't know. Five oh, enough, nice. Yes, yeah, so what if it's another team on top? They, that, that's the team, that. They're not coming, they're not coming. Come Look up, up, come with me, come up. Go back in, go back in, go back in. It's a different team, it's a different team. Shut up, shut up, we good, we good. I'm here, I'm sorry. Hey, see your inside, see your inside. Right here. Back it up. Flash, flash. Bubble, bubble, bubble. What the? Go bottom, go bottom, bubble. Nice. Come on, right here. Get up, start left, start left. Start left. Nice. Start left, come on here. Come on, play my shield, play my shield. 
Let's right. go! Give me! Don't you like get right, their name? Crap! Oh my god, down one, down one! Crypto's running! Right, right there! Three shots, pull it, put it back there! Get me over there! Crap, on boot! Crack boot! Oh, she's cracked the boot on boot, bro! Crack! Shit on her! Last one's crypto! I need more batteries. Who got all the batteries? Yeah, I, I, I got 16 cells. Alright, keep moving, guys. We want to play the side, this edge of this circle. Yeah. Follow me, guys. Okay. Just for real quick. Just to, just to kill this real quick and then we're going to get out of there. Okay. 54. Oh my god. 34. Double crack. Rest him, rest him. Come on, I'm gonna take my red shield. It's a half cracking, but it's something. Ten seconds, right next door. Easy. Hey, looking over here. Not that. Oh, no, don't push that. Just let them fight. Let them fight. Okay. Good comms. Hey, guys, the team right there, too. If my teammates ever communicate something like that to me, like, don't like, push. Damn, damn, I respect them. Because I don't have comms. I'll, like I'll let them on yeah. jail whenever I solo queue like this. Even though I could have very easily posted up and killed Ooh. these guys, I don't like to disrespect my teammates and not listen to them. The map, the map. Yeah, pr pressure this left team though. Pressure this left team. Maybe they, they got a they got a big boy rampart. We'll nah, they're all dead. This left team is dead. They're fine right here. Push up. Bubble, 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 rest, bubble, rest. Help, help him, we get the blonde right here. Help him with the blonde. All right, rest, 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 rest. Man, did I just do everything? Was I the perfect yeah, teammate that game? Different. Was I the perfect teammate that game? Every single thing they asked me to do, I did. Like, hello? WGG. Every single thing I did was what he wanted. You are the I was the perfect champions. teammate, bro. We covered gatekeeping earlier, but there's a, well, a fun little uh, addition to that. You can gatekeep the gatekeepers. Look at this fight right here. There's six guys shooting each other here, you know, gatekeeping. We just gatekept the gatekeepers. We're sandwiching the guys in the middle, just completely thwarting their plans. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just rolled. I don't know if I killed the guy or not, but... Oh my god, a beam team! Anywho, uh, those guys got destroyed. And when you're gatekeeping people... Make sure there's nobody gatekeeping you, okay? Do not get sandwiched like that. Okay, let's talk about this. There's one squad left. We're high ground, but circle ends not where we are. It ends a little into the water, uh, down low. So we need to drop and kill these guys. I am Gibby, so I can bubble down, and you need to. See how I'm holding the bubble? I drop it. That prevents all three enemies from just shooting at me, right? If I had just dropped kind of staggered with my teammates then all three would have shot me all three would have shot the next guy and all three would have shot the next guy and we would have lost but that bubble for my Gibby mains watching this that is a good way to bubble from high ground and we just you know swept them and at this point the video is running a little long let me know if i need to make a part two or if this is good enough please comment below if you want a part two and let me know if you learned anything